So I just saw a trailer on um, Netflix called Chupa, um, which is actually a story uh, about Chupacabras. Um, really interesting um, idea that they had. Uh, and it just, it, it gets me a little excited thinking about it because I saw uh, Damien Bichir, which is one of my favorite uh, Latino actors. And I'm just excited because, you know, as a Latino, um, I love seeing Latino content. Um, I love, like, like it just made me think about um, Dora the Explorer. Um, you know, just things like that. And like some of the movies that Damien's been, some of the movies that um, Kuno Becker have been in. Uh, I just enjoy seeing stuff like that. Um, and I wish there was more of it. And just thinking about, you know, me being a Latino content creator um it just it's just stuff that you know i can utilize to continue inspiring myself a lot of times we we tend to shut down we tend to close up um you know with things that happen to us in life but i think it's important also to open yourself up and see what else is out there what people are creating <clears throat> and that kind of helps spark that fire back in you um and so that's kind of where i'm at right now um you know at, and that's that's just like after having a conversation also with a friend of mine uh from a, a very long time ago um you know it's just it's just inspiring to open up to talk to people to um see other things to be open to other things that you know do exist and just trying to figure out how you can tell your story we tend to tell our stories through social media nowadays um, you know, and it's, it's, it's just something that we, we got to continue doing because we are storytellers. Um, we love sharing experiences that happen to us, um, you know, and, you know, just got to find our stories, um, find inspiration, find guidance, and also just being, um, what's the word being, um, being willing to share our story, right? Having that courage to share our story. Um, it might not resonate with everyone, but it, it I think it, it could resonate with some people. It could res resonate with a lot of people. You just don't know unless you actually put yourself out there and let people know what your story is. So that's what I'm taking today, trying to figure out what my story is, what I want to share with people, um, what I think will benefit others. Um, another thing is that... <clears throat> Whether you know it or not, a lot of us go through the same situations in different ways, obviously. We're, you know, we're not living the same exact experiences, but we do go through similar experiences, through similar situations. Um, take it with relationships, take it with children, take it with uh, careers, you know, things like that. We do share similar experiences, similar challenges. Um, so, yes, a lot of people could resonate with your story um, you know, and they, they might even be able to find um, a nugget in there that they can take in their lives so that they can, um, you know, improve on their situation. Um, and that's just another thing that I, I enjoy doing, like trying to share my story. Like if you if you know me in person, you know that I do like to share uh, my experiences a lot because I feel like people can learn from my experiences, learn from my mistakes or from my triumphs. Um, and it's just something I enjoy doing. So naturally, some of us, most of us are, are natural, uh, are storytellers. Um, and it's just a matter of having that courage to share our story.